Welcome back, friends. Happy New Year. It's episode 132. And as we're moving into this new year, many of us are filled with hope and excitement for what is to come. The New Year's resolutions have been set. The goals have been planned out. The sight is set at the results we want to achieve. So congratulations. You're on the right track. You set a vision and you're determined to go after it. But today, I want to add one small piece of advice, which all of my episodes are, in a sense. So let's have a quote to lead us into this episode. It's not about the goal. It's about growing to become the person that can accomplish that goal. Again, just like yesterday, by Tony Robbins. I love this quote. I really like this quote. Because a goal is an abstract thing. But the person that pursues the goal is something totally different. That's the person that you have to become. That's why it's a goal. If you could do your goal from day one, it wouldn't be a goal. It'd be just something that you do. But a goal stretches you and challenges you. So you have to grow into it. It's a process. And that's all I would like for you to remember from this episode today. Your goal may be a short phrase. Graduate from college. Quit smoking, eat more fruit, practice gratitude daily. But realize that it's a process. Instead of focusing too much on the goal, the outcome and the conclusion of your objective, I want to encourage you today to focus more on the process. Because it is in the process where the mystery happens. Have you ever desired something special? Maybe a purse or an electronic gadget. And someone gave it to you as a gift? It was a great surprise, I bet, at the moment. But you quickly changed wanting to having and became used to owning it. There was no process involved. And now think about your college education. Four years, maybe more, of hard work, the stress of exams, the obligation of classes to take, the responsibility for assignments, and maybe even the jobs you had to keep so you could afford school. That was a process that taught you innumerable lessons. Yes, you accomplished your goal and you graduated, but you learned so much more than the material that was taught in the classes. You acquired life skills. Too often, we just focus on making it there. And sometimes, we will make it there quite effortlessly, because there are always people along the way that help us. But any challenging thing we undertake in life will bring setbacks. It is quite normal. When I started out my fitness and weight loss journey and became stricter with my diet, I lost a lot of weight right away within the first couple of weeks. I did the math and I said, wow, if I keep this up, then I'll be at my goal in just a few weeks. My focus was on the end goal. Well, and then the math sounded great in my head, but my body and my mind didn't follow the math Many months later, I'm still on the journey to getting the body I really want. Because it's not just about the numbers. I just wanted to make it there and be done. Show the world that I made it and get back to normal. Well, for any of you who have undertaken a weight loss journey, you know that you don't just do it and be done. If you do that, you will fall right back to where you started. The key to any meaningful goal is that it impacts your life permanently. It's not about accomplishing the goal. It's about how the journey to the end result transforms your life. When you rush towards the finish line, you miss all the wonderful sights along the way. The lessons, the insights, the changes. You can rush through the big book you want to read. So you can say you read it. Or you can take your time and absorb it. Reread some of the chapters that you want to understand better. Underline what stands out and maybe even write a blog post or review online about it. Making progress towards a meaningful goal means not just reaching some pinnacle to enjoy the view. It's about the progress towards the goal. It's the climb up the hill. The path is often a climb, sometimes steep. Sometimes it's even. Sometimes it's really painful, depending on what your goal is. If we define the top of the mountain as success then we fail every day if we haven't reached the top. We will beat ourselves up every day the scale doesn't show the weight we want. Trust me, I know. 
Try to find happiness and fulfillment in the journey while having your destination in mind. This is key. I realize your goal may not be easy. Getting rid of excess weight or bad habit, disrupting behaviors. We don't associate happiness with this process. But if you dig deep and try to change your perspective a little, you will find it. After a couple months of suffering, even crying and being completely frustrated when the scale didn't budge, I finally stopped being stubborn and tried to look at things with a fresh eye. I tried to follow my math concept. Well, if I just eat less, I'll lose more. But it doesn't always work that way. Resistance, stubbornness, forcing things, this will not work to get you to your goal. But when you relax and you start enjoying the process by incorporating it into your life and obsessing less and enjoying the small changes that you make every day, then, so I found, the results will come naturally. And this can be as simple as being grateful every single day that you stuck to your plan, that you followed your diet, you wake up the next day instead of feeling guilty because you indulged again. Be happy and grateful, even though the scale doesn't show it, but you know it in your heart. The day that you didn't smoke, the day that you didn't fall back on using drugs or alcohol or any other obsession that you had, celebrate that day because that is progress. True success is not accomplishing the goal. Effort is success. Keep this in mind. Effort is success. We cannot control the outcomes in life, but we can control our efforts. So make a good effort over time and consider it a success. When you practice your new skill every day for a week, when you stayed away from the bad behaviors another day, When you stuck to your plan all day yesterday, that is success because you did it. And if you don't acknowledge success until you reach the final goal, then every day you will fail. Every day means nothing and it will keep you frustrated and grinding without joy. So break down the big goals you made for this year into daily steps and then aim for excellence in each step. Listen to my episode from yesterday. You have to do the work, and it's best done step by step and daily. Every cookie you leave ignored, every cigarette you leave untouched, every extra mile you walk and every push-up you do day after day, every new word you learn, every thank you you give, every new move that you practice, these will all add up slowly to your big end goal. But the best part about this is, When you really enjoy the process, you find yourself so immersed in it that you won't even notice when you make your goal. And even better, you'll keep going because it has now become part of your life. We tend to complicate these goals. We make too many big plans. We buy too many things. We tell too many people. We spend too many hours researching, envisioning all the great things that will happen when we reach the goal. Instead, we just need to do it and enjoy the ride. Everything in life comes down to that. What will I do right now in this very moment? Do I stuff another Snickers bar into my face or do I go for a walk? It's all about right now, not next week or the end of 2018. And I heard this recently on another podcast, The Three Second Rule. What decision are you going to make within the next three seconds? When that thought comes into mind to take another hit or to play another round of video games or to eat another cookie, three seconds, immediately pivot and do the opposite. Put on your sneakers and just go out the door, rain or shine, just go for a walk. And within minutes, you will have forgotten about the bad thing you were about to do. It's about this moment. Take one small step into the right direction. And that's what progress is. That also means that you acknowledge this moment more consciously. And understand that every moment in your life matters and has value. I so often talk about it on this podcast. When you become present with yourself 
in the life you're living, then you will give more attention to every day. Instead of mindless eating because you're distracted, on your devices or watching TV or rushing to a meeting, you will make more time to pay attention to the moment and the food that you're taking in. So it's critical that you remain focused. Don't let attention drift. Focus on your goal while staying present in the moment. There's no such thing as future success or future happiness. The power of success lies in the everyday actions you take. Sometimes, in seeking the good life, we miss the grandest life of all, which is exactly the one that we're living right now. So focus. Focus on progress over results, and your goals will become a reality without you even noticing it. Because, as Tony Robbins says, you become what you do most of the time. So incorporate your goal into your life. Make it part of it. Live it every day, no matter how small the changes that you make. As long as you make them every day. And don't worry about the people that are not on board. Worry just about your goal. Eventually, the people will be on board as well, or new people will be in your life. That's how you not just finish a marathon, but you become a marathoner. That's how you not just get the certification, but you become a practitioner. That's how you become a new person that then can turn around and help others achieve the same goal. Imagine the possibilities. Focus on progress over results. Enjoy the journey. No matter how hard it is, I encourage you, enjoy every day and celebrate every day that you stayed on track. Much love.